If you've seen the films, our no, our you TV have to series, explain it like he hasn't seen the films. Our our Summer. TV series picks up where the second film left off. The idea is that John Connor uh, is a teenager, and uh, his mother has has successfully hidden him. She thinks, uh, and he is trying to go to high school. Uh, he shows up in high school. And my character is sort of this uh, undercover, undercover Terminator, and I become sort of his friend. And then we find out that he's been found again, and he's being chased by um, by Terminators. And, and my Terminator ha is sent back from the future to be his protector. And then we find out that. Derek has been sent back from the future also to find John Connor and, and protect him. So uh, basically that's what our series is and a lot of crazy things happen. I, I always try and keep in mind uh, what Derek's overall goal is, which is to not only protect John Connor, but to stop Judgment Day from ever happening, and um, and to save the millions of people that he knows will lose their lives on that day. Uh, I I try to focus on the big picture. It's difficult. It, it was difficult for me at times because Cameron has many different faces, and. Uh, her agenda was unclear for most of the series. We couldn't really tell what was going on um, behind her eyes. What what was her true agenda? You know, does she have uh, does she have secrets that she's keeping from John? So um, that was one thing that was tough for me to keep straight. But uh, overall, I just. I tried always to be very thoughtful with the choices that I made because being a playing a robot is so much different from playing a, a human in that uh, I wasn't able to react instinctually. I always had to make choices about how I how I how I did how I everything yeah robot <laughs> and yeah. um. Yeah, that's. I've never played a role so different. Um, I can't believe that I. I never thought that Terminator would be such a big part of my life. I can't believe it. Still. I, I had, I had the impression that Japan was exactly what it is. Uh, I, I've heard. Uh, I've heard from many people that. That. Uh, the fans here and, and the people in this city uh, in, in, in Japan in general are really incredible, courteous, kind, loving people. And I've experienced nothing but that since I've been here. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's been very thoughtful and um, very helpful and really wants to help us enjoy, uh, enjoy our time here. And, and they've they've accomplished that. Mm -hmm. I also heard everybody speaks Japanese, and that's true also. <laughs> <laughs> I have to add that I had a picture in my mind of what the city was like, but I am I I couldn't really imagine it. it you have to see it. It's it's um, it's more beautiful and exciting than than I could have imagined. I I hope we make the best of our time. We're gonna be here for three days. We were just. <clears throat> sitting at lunch saying, are we in Japan? We're in Japan. No, we're in Japan. This is Japan. And um, it's, it's unreal. It is. We're in Japan. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for having us. And it's true. It's such gracious, gracious people and, and um, kind. Uh, thank you so much. We're up for suggestions. At this point, we're, I don't know. I heard the Banana Republic is fantastic. <laughs> um, and there's an AMPM across the street that I want to. I just want to check it out. I want to see if it's different from the AMPMs that we have in the states, because ours are gas stations. I don't. Yours look like they have food and good things in them. 
I'm gonna eat as much as I can. And drink too. And drink. AM PM immortalized <laughs> from Japanese television. <laughs> to which camera? This this one here. Yeah. Hi, I'm Brian Austin Green. I'm Summer Glau. Summer Glau. Uh, we just wanted to say hello and wanted to thank um, thank the fans for watching the show and, and supporting us and allowing us to uh, continue to do a job that we love doing. So let us know what you think, season two. Thank you. Thank you very much.